Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Boys channel. My name is Tim, and today I'm here with my Halloween haul. So this haul is everything I picked up on my Labor Day weekend shopping spree. <laughs> so I did film some of the merch that I saw in a lot of these stores, so if you missed that video, I will link it above and below. But also in that video, I did have the Zipcar drama. So if you're interested in that, that is all lined out in that video. I'm not going to get into that here, but um, if you guys are wondering where Johnny is, he is actually in Michigan with his friends still. I am filming this on Labor Day weekend, which is why he's not here. So... Yeah, I wanted to get this haul up because a lot of it is going to be stuff that is going to turn our background into the Halloween background, which I also want to get done this weekend. So I think I'm going to try to film me cleaning out the background and putting everything back in. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to be subscribed to be on the lookout for that video. Okay, so I did go to a lot of stores. Um, top of my head, Spirit Halloween, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Walmart, Bath and Body Works, Lowe's. Where else did I go? Michaels, Ross. And I think that's it. Um, so yeah, I want to start with the Spirit Halloween stuff. So I did go to two separate Spirit Halloweens. I went to the one in Skokie first, which was really nice. And then I went to the one in Norwich. So um, a lot of this stuff, like, I bought some stuff and then like I found better stuff later so like we'll see how that goes but um first bag of the spirit Halloween I picked up this um, haunted mansion two-piece towel set because we always like having towels in our kitchen to make that part of our kitchen Halloweeny. So I love this print, the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. It says wall to wall creeps. And then the other side is, um, it just says the Haunted Mansion, but they have like little tassels, which I thought was cool. But yeah, this gray one's totally the better one. And then next, um, I thought it would be cool cause we're gonna have a hocus pocus part of the shelf. So I saw this candle, um, it doesn't smell, but it just says, I lit the black flame candle. So I thought that would be cool to have as like a focal point in our background. Cool, and then it has like a little excerpt about the movie Hocus Pocus. So it just says, All Hallows Eve, it's the one night of the year where the Spirits of the dead can return to Earth. <laughs> Probably won't light this, it'll just be decor. And then, um, I did find some of these Haunted Mansion. I think these are Spirit Halloween exclusives. And now I wish I got more. I was planning on, like, so... I was a big mess. So I like, I bought five at the first one and I was like, oh, they'll have more at the other one. Like maybe, you know, the odds of picking, I won't get duplicates. And then the second Spirit Halloween did not have any. So I was like, oh. And then like the girl at the first store said that I would be emailed a coupon after, you know, to get 20% off. And then I totally forgot to like, use the coupon at the second store. Wow. So yeah, I got five bags of these. They are on the website, so I might try to get more so we could do a video. But these are going to be on our 
Halloween tree. So these are the Haunted Mansion figural bag clips. And there are awesome options on these. So you have all the hitchhiking goats, the Haunted Mansion side, Manum Leota, the stretching portrait um, of Constance, you have the tightrope girl, the quicksand guys, um, this like guy, <laughs> and then um, two mysteries, which clearly one's the opera singer and the candelabra guy, or the, um, what's it called? So yeah, be sure to be on the lookout for that video. This is nice because we don't have to do this right away because it'll just fill up our tree, so like, whatevs. Um, so next, hot Spirit Halloween. So I mix these bags together. These are not like all what I found at each store. So, um, you could see from the video and the shop with me video, like which store had what. But, um, speaking of the, like, I found something and then I found something better later. <laughs> so I got these two, like, tombstones, which I thought would be cool in our background, but I was thinking in my head, like, I don't think these would fit, like... Yeah, I was right. So I would have to like have them up here or like on this one, which I didn't want to do. So I did find like some other like headstone kind of things at Michael's, which will work perfect. But um, these are cool. I'll still have to find somewhere to put this. Maybe this will go in like our living room or something or I'll see. But these are um, $4.99. They're very lightweight, which I like, and it just says R.A.P. I love like the colors of these, they did a really good job. So yeah, I'll figure out something to do with those. And then this, uh, I was looking for kind of like a tablecloth kind of thing or some kind of like cloth material to hide like these bottom shelves because like what I'm thinking is like, just like here, the two top ones are gonna be our Halloween background. And then like, I figure it'd be cool to like hide the bottom ones because like, we're not gonna change those out because we, we have enough to do all of them, but we wanted to keep some for our living room because we like to decorate out there because we live in a condo. So I found this wicked webbing so it's meant for outdoors, I think. Like as like a kind of spider web deal. But I kind of like, it kind of feels like gauze. I don't think there's a lot of holes in this. So like we could kind of, yeah, there's like not holes in this yet. So we could kind of distress it ourselves and like, do it so most of it's hidden. Um, I'm hoping that works out in our benefit. I mean, this was $14.99, so I figure like cheaper than like a tablecloth and I think it would be like more festive. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> and then um, Spirit Halloween also had these really cool Disney like pumpkin of characters. So they did have um, Shock there too. They didn't have Locker Barrel. They didn't have Jack. Oh, they had um, Zero, but his looked kind of weird. It didn't look like a pumpkin, so I was like, eh. And then they actually had some Pixar ones. They had like Ham and the Alien. But I thought it was cute, like Doc, Dr. Finkelstein and Sally, because they're in the movie a lot together. And also, spoiler, if you are new here, Nightmare Before Christmas wasn't always our favorite. So, like, we didn't ever have, like, a full shelf dedicated to it. But I actually watched it, like, a couple times this year, and I actually really like it. And I'm like, okay, I like it. 
enough to have like its own shelf during the holidays. So we are going to have a Nightmare Before Christmas shelf, which is exciting. So this is Dr. Finkelstein, and they all have like this little um, nub here for the pumpkin. And these were um, $4.99 a piece. And they do actually light up, which is super cool. So we might have to like do that before we film. Oh, it's not coming up too much on his. But hers you could see because it's red lights. So it kind of lights up the whole thing, which is cool. So that's going to be cute for our NBC shelf. And then um, I do have a couple more things from Spirit Halloween as well. So I don't know why I picked up just one random bag of these. Um, but this is another figural blind key bag keychain. And this is like a horror one with like lots of different options. I think I like wanted to get more just to like throw in that same video. I should have got two. I don't know why I didn't. So there's like tons of options. So there's Beetlejuice, um, the recently deceased, Pennywise, the shining twin, Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. I really want that one. Annabelle and the It House. So that'll probably go in that same bag clip video. And then um, I also am gonna do a Haunted Mansion shelf. So they had a bunch of these little like snow globes for um, $7. And I thought it would be cool just to do the Madame Leota one because she's already in like a kind of globe. So I thought this was cute. I didn't need any of the other characters. So there's Madame Leota. And then like you have black and orange when you shake it. And then on the front it says Happy Haunting. And then the last item I got at Spirit Halloween is just this skull head. I thought kind of gave me Billy vibes from Hocus Pocus. So um, this will probably go on one of the shelves that just needs filling. Ah. <laughs> so $3.99 for this. Okay, and then I did go to Walmart um, because I like to go there whenever I'm in the burbs because we don't have any in the city. And they do have a bunch of adorables, which we always love to look for. But um, their Halloween section wasn't the greatest. They basically only had costumes. They didn't really have many like decor kind of items. So I did actually find some really cute like, I think these were only a dollar. So these are like witch's cauldrons. And I thought these would be super cute for like the Haunted, Man Haunted Mansion for the Hocus Pocus background. And honestly, like, Nightmare Before Christmas too, it could probably have been. I wish I would've got one more, but these are, yeah, I mean, for 99 cents, like, this would be a super cute part of our background. And I could even, like, put stuff in there if we need to. So this was a super exciting find. And then not Halloween related, but I did get, um, three of these mini peaks of series eight. We pretty much have most of the characters now, except for like the big Hero 6 ones and the other ones that they didn't release yet. And then also not Halloween related, but a lot of you like responded when we brought this up in a Vividity unboxing. So Walmart is like one of the places that carries the home edits. <laughs> so I found this. They had more, but like I figure, like I was gonna have to carry everything up and down the stairs, so I just got this one. But if you're all about organizing, comment down below. But this is kind of like one that you would put 
like chips in or pretzels or fruit kind of thing. And these are like good for like everything. Honestly, like if you have um, sewing items or like crafts or something, these are perfect. So it has one small canister, one medium, and one large. And they all have like the lid that snaps in. So I thought that was cool. Uh, we'll figure out something to do with that. John always goes like bananas over those. So like he'll have like fun when he gets home to be able to organize something. Oh, an honorable mention. So <laughs> I did get this at Marshall's. It's a stainless steel tumbler like the ones we always use. It's not Disney, but it has like bats all over it. So super cute. And then um, I did go somewhere on Friday that was not included in the Saturday like trip. I didn't film this, but I did go to Ross. Um, we have one in the city. It's pretty small and I don't really like going in there because it's like super unorganized and messy and they usually don't have a lot but I was like over there and I was like I'll give it a try. So I did actually find this really cute tablecloth which like this could totally have worked in our background but I think this would actually be cuter as a tablecloth. So it is Disney and it has Mickey Mouse all over it as well. So it has like Mickey as like a goblin or ghost or whatever. And then like Mickey and then his shadows following him. But I thought this was such a cool design. And it was $7.99 at Ross. Originally they say it's $14 but I feel like it's more than that. So that's going to be fun to have just like our dining room table for the holidays. And then the last thing I got at Ross was something for Tati. I thought this was a super cute bowl. So um, she has like this stand for her food that like has rings that fit certain bowls, but the but the holes are kind of small so like you could put other stuff on top of it like just stack and like she's super fancy like eating like Marie <laughs> so I found this cute bowl which has a bunch of ghosts all over it and this comes in and out and I mean for $3.99 like I figure like we could get Christmas ones in the future. And yeah the way her stand is like it'll fit perfect like over the hole so that like it won't spill when she's trying to eat it. Because I found out that like it's better to have your cat like if you have older cats like have it a little bit risen so that they're not like hunching over too much to eat their food because then they could get constipated. So. Just a little tip <laughs> that I found out. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Um, so you guys probably have seen on TikTok or Instagram, Lowe's has been killing it with Disney Halloween merch. So I did happen to buy some inflatables. So like, obviously inflatables are meant to be outside. But they have a smaller version that says it's like indoor friendly and like on the picture it's on a table indoors. <laughs> so I did get two of these. They were $15 a piece, but it says they are 21 inches tall. But like I thought these were adorable. So this might actually go there. I don't know yet, but we have the Mickey as a vampire and then Minnie as a witch. So what's interesting about this is it says like it inflates using USB or battery option. So I think it inflates like itself when you open it so you don't have to actually like blow it up. So. 
Let's try one and see how it goes. I'm testing this along with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna need a USB thing. Read some instructions. Four double A's. That's a lot of batteries. So you actually don't have to use the battery option, like and like get a screwdriver and do all this stuff. So I'm going to use the USB option. So then I won't need this thing, I think. Alright, so I'm just gonna use my like iPhone charger thingy uh, and hope it reaches so I could film it. <laughs> All right. Okay, it is kind of long, which is nice. So, oh god. Oh, I thought it was starting. I was like, oh, is it starting already? Okay, so this might not be long enough. <laughs> so it is blowing up. <laughs> That's super fun. <laughs> okay, so those took a lot longer to inflate than I thought they would. But yeah, so next I want to show you what I got at Hot Topic. So if you are following me on Instagram, Advertise. <laughs> You might have seen this on my story, but um, they have these really cool canvas, like prints of the Haunted Mansion stretching portraits. So um, I actually ordered all four of them online and uh, they actually sent me Four, but two of them were the same so they did not include the tightrope girl which is basically the one I wanted the most and um, I reached out to them and was like hey you sent me like two of the quicksand guys instead of like the tightrope girl and they're like oh yeah I think by the time that they packaged your order um, she was all sold out and I was like okay well are you gonna do anything and they're basically like, well, we could refund you, but you would have to send the one back and it's basically like half price what you would have to, I would have had to pay like $7 to ship it back, which is like, they were only $12. So it's like not worth it. So they're like, yeah, you would have to just go to a store. And I'm like, well, I live 45 minutes away from the nearest store. But it worked out luckily because I was planning on doing shopping this weekend. So yeah, Hot Topics customer service is not great. Um, so I did end up going to three different Hot Topics. So spoiler, the first one did not have her. Um, the third one had like Constance and the um, Dynamite guy. And then the second one, <gasps> actually had her and she was the last one left so I got really lucky and these are like the perfect size too like they're like smaller so like they're gonna look cool like side by side I don't know yet but I was maybe thinking of putting them like here but if the inflatables are there I don't know so I'm gonna have to like figure it out so yeah, like they're the perfect size, they're not too big, and they do have this fake like wood kind of like frame. So that is the tightrope girl with the alligator. And then, actually this is the one they sent me two of. So this is gonna end up in our October four year anniversary giveaway. So this is the dynamite guy. Super cool, we do have that Funko Chase. 
And then this is, is it Constance? I always think it is, but it might not be. So it's Woman on Grave. <laughs> and then you have the Quicksand guys. So I just thought this would be so cool because like, obviously these are the four portraits in the um, Haunted Mansion when it stretches. So I'm super happy to have these and I'm excited to figure out how to display them. So next at Hot Topic, um, I did find, this isn't really Halloween, but it kind of is. So they have this awesome Funko Pop exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive, of Scar with the Hyenas. And I really like this one. I do have one that kind of looks like this, um, which is the Scar with the green smoke. But I didn't end up getting the Hyenas one when they were separate, so like I'm glad I found this one. It literally just came out. And we are out of the box collectors, and we do have this Hades one. So I'm excited for the Isma and Kronk one. Oh, this looks super cool. So they're all on their own little rocks, and it's like green, which is that Be Prepared song. And he's even belting, holding his throat. This is really cool. So this actually might end up on one of our shelves for a background. I will say they do they do kind of make the same characters over and over again. So like I won't be getting the Ursula or Maleficent one in that set. And then there's one that I don't know who it is. But like they need to make a new Jafar because like the only one they've made is like Jafar from the live action. But anywho, so I did also find, oh, I didn't realize I got two different colors. Mm. That might look better actually, or worse, we'll see. So they had this um, nine foot tinsel garland of Jack's face. So we have kind of like this purple one, which I really like this, with all the Jacks, and then they have a black and white one. So that actually might look fun, like layering. Oh, that's why it went off. <laughs> so like the um, the beeper or whatever went off when I left Hot Topic, and the girl's like, oh no, I got everything, it's fine. There's a stupid tag on this. <laughs> so luckily, like, I'm sure that will just snip right off, but. All right, and then I did pick up, cause I did have like a, 30% off coupon that worked on top of like their sales. So I got three bags of these Hocus Pocus um, key rings. We did open these last year on our channel. I'll link that video above and below. But we did not get all of them. And they do have um, a Spirit Halloween version of these where they're like different characters but they are sold out. So this will be in our mega key ring unboxing. And then before I found those little graves, I thought these would be cute to have because they're like little like headstone graves, but they're mystery figures. So like, I should have probably looked at this because I see something now. <laughs> So like, it doesn't tell you what characters are options. Oh yeah, it does. Right here. <laughs> so you have like Jack the Mayor, um, Sally, Zero, Oogie Boogie, and Santa Jack. So like, how you could tell is I guess they're supposed to stand on top of this. So you could tell by like the feet size. See how those are different? So I'm thinking this one might be Santa Jack or Sally, depending on the feet. So yeah, I'll probably open these on like a TikTok. All right, and then I did see something um, that I bought because I had that 30% off coupon 
It's super cool. I did see this at um, Spirit as well. So this is the Haunted Mansion candle holder. But I thought this would be really cool in our Haunted Mansion section. And I don't even think it needs like the candles with it. I think he'll look cool on its own. And he does glow in the dark, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, so here he is. And like this is such a deep kind of like option where like you don't even have to put candles on there. You could put like something else on there or I think it even looks cool without it. So that's going to be fun in our Haunted Mansion shelf. And then I did um, buy something which is going to be ambitious. <laughs> so I saw on Instagram someone bought one of these. So it is the Sleeping Beauty Castle Funko Pop. And as you can see we have it in the background. But what they did was they actually spray painted it black. So that's what I intend to do. Um, so I'll have this leftover Funko Pop. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do like a tiny giveaway. So um, comment down below if you would like this Funko. So just comment like a lyric in Britney Spears Circus song. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen it because it's in our background, but I feel like this is going to look really cool painted black. And then I figured like this would be like the main part of our villain's background. And it being black, I feel like it'll kind of look like a projection, like when they do projections on the castles. So yeah, I will definitely be filming this, probably like a TikTok or reel again. So um, yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram to see the finished product. <laughs> and then the last thing I got were some mystery pins. I got three boxes of these new like Halloween Fab Five characters. We did get more of these online so this will be in a separate video but I do have three of these so I'm gonna open one of these now to see how they look. And then I got um, one box of these Care Bears dressed as costumes, in costumes. I thought this was super cute. So that'll be a real whatever. And then I got, oh, this is not the box I thought it was, <laughs> whoops. So this is Winnie the Pooh. Um, I thought this was them as Halloween costumes. I guess I didn't look too clearly. I couldn't really look because the Hot Topic I went to like now all Hot Topics, I'm pretty sure, have all the mystery pins like locked up in a um, clear case because they said people were stealing them. Inbox Lunch still has them out, but they're next to the register, so I don't know if that's why, but yeah, like she kind of rushed me and I didn't even like, she's like, which ones? And I was like, she wouldn't even open the case and like let me look. She's, yeah. So like Hot Topic, you're really on my ish list lately. But yeah, I will open up one of these Halloween Fab Five to see like what they look like. They feel kind of small. Oh, cute. They are very small. So I got Pluto and he like has a bunch of I guess bag of bones and he's in like a cauldron kind of seems like almost a little bit morbid I don't know kind of weird that's probably my least favorite because it doesn't look like a costume it just looks like he's I don't know 
getting ready to be cooked. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want mini as, as Figaro. So hopefully one of the boxes we open will be that. So be sure to be on the lookout for that video. Next, um, I did go to box lunch. I didn't get really anything Halloween related besides a couple of pins. Yeah, so I'll include the rest of this in another haul. We do have a bunch of stuff from Shop Disney, like, to the side waiting to film. So those will go nice in that haul. So I do have some pins. First, um, the lady said that it, gl it glows in the dark, so I was like, oh, that's awesome. So it's just like the Mickey pumpkin out of this recycled material. And then um, you guys know we're on a Nightmare Before Christmas kick. So like I thought this pin was beautiful. It's kind of like it has a stained glass element up there. And it is um, Jack and Sally. Oh, it's upside down. Maybe that's why it's giving me trouble. Okay. And then like it has all the pumpkins right here, which the pumpkins are actually stained glass also. And it has like Jack's little like house castle behind there and then this one's super pretty as well it's the same kind of stained glass material and this one is zero and then you have his house there with the graveyard they should have probably made this double pin backed but yeah this one's super pretty so I'm excited to add these to our Halloween board okay so two more stores left um, I will do Michael's next so Michael's had a lot of cool things. Um, they had a lot of, like, Audrey's, which, um, comment down below if you're a fan of, um, oh my god, why am I blanking on the name of it? It's a musical, Summer That's Green, Little Shop of Horrors. Like, god, that took me a while. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know how I like bought some things and I was like, oh, I f I'm going to find better things. So these are the better things. <laughs> I um, bought some paint, which it'll be on its way. So I'm probably just going to place these when I do my background. And then like when we actually start filming, you'll see them black. But these are some wooden coffins. These are $2.99 a piece. So I thought these were super cool. Um, they do open, so I mean you could leave one open or like put one of the mystery minis there or something. But yeah, I pl plan on painting these. I did get three of them because these will be perfect again for like Haunted Mansion, Hocus Pocus, and Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I did get two bags of these. So these are like the size I was looking for for the tombstones. So um, these are super small. They're going to be really cool spread out throughout our background. It comes with four of them inside for $5. So like this is exactly what I was looking for. So huge win. And then this was kind of an impulse buy. <laughs> these are $3.99 which is kind of overpriced now that I'm looking at it. But it's just like a bunch of spiders. I thought these would be cool just to sprinkle out on background that needs like fluff kind of thing. And then I was looking for a Binks the Cat the whole day. They had these ones at Spirit, but they were like too big and like kind of weird rubbery. But I thought this one was cute from Michaels. Um, I don't love the blue eyes, but... I mean, the hat's super cute. It says Hocus Pocus right there. And this will be the perfect size for our background. So I thought that was adorable. I'm really excited to see what our backgrounds are gonna look like because I have no idea, just like you guys. All right, and then the last stop, well not last stop, but last items are from Bath and Body Works. They were having a really good sale, plus I had like get a free item and then I had like a get 25% off your entire order, which worked on top of the sales. So comment down below if you guys 
are into Bath and Body Works and if you picked up any of their cool Halloween exclusive stuff. So um, you might have seen on TikTok or Instagram, but I did post a reel of this new plugin, which is perfect for our Disney villain bathroom. So I ended up getting two more because like, I don't want it just for Halloween. Since like our villain bathroom, like this is perfect. I figured like, might as well get extras because these are only gonna be around for Halloween. But I will insert a photo of what it looks like in our villain bathroom. So this is um, Leaves Foaming Hand Soap. So like this actually smells kind of like cinnamony. So it reminds me of Christmas as well. Um, so it has crisp apple, nectar, and warm clove spice, which is probably why I smell Christmas a little bit. Um, I love this smell and it's kind of good if you want to leave like if it's still left over in December, like you could still get away with using it as a Christmas scent. All right, and then they were having a huge candle sale. I wanna say they were $10 off maybe. Um, but I did get the leaves again in this. Oh, it's so good, I love it. This is like my favorite scent ever. In the three wet candles. And then I got one that's called Harvest Pomegranate. So this is, what does it say? Um, this is pomegranate, fresh picked apples, black plums, and sweet black plums. This is like so classy and like fancy. <laughs> so this actually smells kind of like um, if you're walking in like a TJ Maxx or something in like that autumn aisle. I really like this. Last I just got some plugins. I always get five because it's always five for $25. And if you guys are surprised by now, <laughs> I got leaves, of course. We do actually have, I wanna say like three more of these waiting to be used. And then I did get um, two of these pumpkin carving. I really like this one because it's like, it's not too pumpkin smelly. So um, it is freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. So I think the brown sugar tames it a little bit. So I got two of those. And then I got a pumpkin apple. And then lastly, got a pumpkin bonfire. So this is very smoky. I almost got the candle, but I decided against it. Um, so this is white pumpkin clove buds in glowing embers. Whatever any of those words mean. Okay, so we are done with our haul, <laughs> if you can believe it. Um, it's a mess in this room, and it's going to be a mess probably for a hot minute because I'm gonna have to get rid of stuff on these shelves to film the background tour and dust and all that stuff. So be sure to be on the lookout for that video. If you like uh, this haul video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.